Hello, y'all. I have been messing around with this camera, trying to figure out the appropriate way. So I just gave up. I said, well, I'm just going to sit the camera like this. I'll view the video to see how it came out. However, um, I have, I'm getting comfortable with doing my audio videos with my photos on it and things. So I do want to start showing my face more and um, bringing my spirit into YouTube instead of just um, hiding out. However, um, sometimes you have to get comfortable with things, you know what I mean? So, um, and then plus, you know, when you get on the camera, you wanna be cleaned up and stuff. I mean, um, not to say I'm just jacked up when I do my audio videos, however, there is still a certain um, just basic cleansiness, you know, not just cleansiness, but just having your hair combed and feeling good about yourself. You know, many YouTubers don't care. They come on there with their bonnets and they look clean. I'm not downgrading anybody that comes on and they're in their sweatpants. Um, you got to come as you are and as you feel comfortable too. I mean, I don't have on no fancy dress or anything. However, um, the subject matter today I want to go over is about being alone. And this isn't going to be like being alone, like telling you to be alone. This is going to be the total opposite. Okay. And how people I am highly concerned about single women and men that are being manipulated by many people. I mean, just people in general. So I'm going to tell you this story to start this out. So I was in Starbucks one day, right? And um, there was this African man in there, a married African man, very nice. And we were waiting on our coffees. Um, so, you know, you got these married men, they not trying to come on to you, but they're genuinely friendly people with certain people. So I was in there, we were sitting at the table and the Lord wanted him to share this with me. I'm sure of it because everything from that point, you know, sometimes the Lord provides information in pieces. Um, and at that time, I had um, went through a breakup with a boyfriend that um, was not around enough. I mean, it, the relationship wasn't growing. Um, at this point, it's not just a total disconnect. We do hang out sometimes, you know. So, but what I do is I create boundaries in my life. So I had to get to the point where I had to decide for Irene, what do I want? You know, instead of bringing somebody into the home and it just doesn't go anywhere, right? So anyway, I was in Starbucks and the African man said, um, cause we got, we started talking about men and women being the, the loneliness or whatever. I forgot how the conversation struck off, but he said, if my wife were to die tomorrow, I would not be alone for long. And I said, well, why do you say that? He said, men are not made to be alone. Men have to have a woman. And I thought about that and I said, all men? He said, yeah, unless something's really wrong with this man. He said, men are not like women. He said, now my wife, this was his perspective now. So the African gentleman, he stated, he said his wife could do it longer than he would. Just say if he were to pass away first. But he was serious and with conviction said he couldn't do it. So it struck a thought in my mind. And I said, he's right. You know, I, I could kind of see where he's coming from. I mean, I'm not going to doubt he knows men. I mean, this is, he's talking about a man's nature. Okay. Just like you have a woman's nature, right? 
And so, um, in the last relationship I was with, there was a lot of that. It was a lot of alone time. And um, the gentleman, he tried to convince me, even to this day, he will try to convince me that he is alone. Now, we can't be on this high horse. So I don't care how great you think you are, how nice of a person you think you are, how beautiful somebody may tell you you are, that doesn't mean that they want to be with you. And that doesn't mean that they're secure enough in their feelings and their emotional level to be with you. However, the bottom line is, whether you're male or female, and today I wanna kinda mainly speak of the female perspective, okay? Just say it's a female and she's dealing with the man and he's saying that he's a, he wants to be alone. This is what he's telling the female. He prefers to be alone. What that means is he does not want you, okay? That is what that means. Along with the fact that is a lie. If that is a single man that has his own place, and I want to tell all women this because there's so many women that are still getting HIV and AIDS and herpes, okay? Listen to me very carefully. When a man is telling you he wants to be alone, he's a player. Don't you think for one second that that man is alone all the time, okay? And many a times, you know, just like you got all these alpha males on YouTube and to prove the gentleman's point of what the African man told me in Starbucks, he said he couldn't do it, right? Think about it. When you see all these alpha male on YouTube telling men how to be, how to play women and how to not be in a long-term committed and things like that, or a long-term commitment. Think about it. A lot of times they're saying, well, I got the Sunday chick. I got the Saturday chick. I got the Friday chick. I got the Tuesday after work chick. Think about this. A lot of these alpha males that are players and cheaters, they brag about the fact that they're rotating these women, right? So it further proves the point of what the African man said. Men or not made to be alone is also what he stated, right? So one of the things I want to do with my YouTube channel here is protect people, okay? Because we live in a very demonic world and there is so much manipulation going on towards males and females, okay? So I am going to throw the male in here at certain times. However, women, like right now, okay, one of my sons is at work. The other two are out playing basketball right now, okay? These are three males that I'm talking about, right? I'm here alone. See, I'm proving the African's point. I'm here alone, right? But where are these males? Remember what the African gentleman said. Men are not made to be alone. Now, I'm quite content here alone doing a YouTube video, right? I'm content. I'm not having any problems or I'm not uncomfortable right now. However, I don't want to be alone too long. Would this be so fun if I was going to just be doing this and I did this for eight days straight. No, over time, as a woman, I may begin to feel isolated and uncomfortable with this situation. So the moral of the story is this. This is where I'm going with this. Stop believing people's lies. When it goes against the nature of what that 
human being was created to do and the natural nature of a male. So let's believe the African man. He said, men are not cut out to be alone. He couldn't do it for that long is what he said, right? So, and over time, this person that's telling you, like I said, it, it's basically people know, even a man, okay? In this particular gentleman that I was with, he will lie to me to the day he leaves this earth. And the reason that is, is because I bring some level of value to him. And when I say value, I don't mean financially. I don't mean sexually. I don't mean any of that. I mean, on a moral perspective, and we live in a world where it's hard to find good people. And oftentimes men want to keep women on the back burner, especially as men get older. They think of things like, well, what if I get sick? What if I needed a caregiver? Some men think like that, especially when men start getting 58 and over. You'll be surprised how people think. And if you're an empathetic person, this person is like, hmm, I'm going to keep her around. I might need somebody to change my diaper one day. I don't know. So you got to learn. They, they use this term. My sons use it. That's cap. That means that's a lot. That's the new fancy word for that's a lot. So when any man is telling you, ladies, especially, right, that he likes to, that he likes to be alone. That's cap. And when you sitting up alone, that man ain't alone. He's going to people homes. People are coming to his homes. Women are staying the night at that man's house. It took me, this was over a couple years ago. It took me one time to enter that man's apartment. And I could feel the spirit soon as I walked in that door that women enter that home. Okay? So when God is using people to send a message to you, I believe that that particular day, God used that African man. He, he was a God-fearing man, him and his wife. So God planted a seed in my head. So I'm coming to you today. You have to be able to read between the lines. And it's unnatural for you to continue to put yourself around that dead energy. Okay, so like the phase that I'm going through right now in my life. God is getting ready for me to date again. He just is. I mean, it comes a time like, even for me, I have said, well, I don't want to be married anymore, this or that, right? That is unnatural. Unless you're trying to be some kind of nun. If you're not trying to be a Catholic nun, and it didn't work for the Catholic nuns. That's why there's so much chaos. Not all of the nuns, some of the nuns it worked for. Okay, but nuns, the purpose of being a nun is to fully dedicate your life to the Lord. But that didn't work in the long haul for many nuns because maybe that goes against a woman's nature also. So, you have to learn how men think. They will lie. A lot of what they say will be capped. Men don't want to lose what's sacred. Okay? When I broke up with my ex, I never was with another man intimately, right? 
So even though he's continuously with other women, I am still on some level sacred for him. And that is why men lie too. They don't want to lose what is sacred. They don't want it to completely be gone. Okay. So where I got strong at was accepting and coming to grips with, I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life. I just don't. I enjoy a long time. This is a long time. But as far as being alone for the rest of your life, no, that, that's just not what I desire. Okay. I desire a healthy relationship at some point. So overall, I want people to be safe and realistic. So this is the bottom line, ladies. If you're alone, right? Like I am alone right now in my home, right? If you are alone and a man is telling you they like being alone and just say you hang out once a month, that man is rotating women. Especially if this is not a godly man that's living a straight godly life. And what I mean by that is look at things like, does he indulge in alcohol? Is he drinking? Is he using drugs? And him working five days a week, that ain't stopping nothing. Him, him, it, the job don't matter. When them men get off from them jobs and they're at home on the weekends, women are stopping through. And for some of them, men too. If he's bisexual, men are stopping through too. So you really got to think and protect yourself, especially protecting your spiritual life, okay? Okay, and for men, okay, this is for the men. If a woman is telling you she prefers to be alone, most likely in her case, She's hurt and probably a pretty good woman that has gone through a really toxic breakup with a narcissist. If you have no proof that this woman, this is for the men, is really hanging around a bunch of men, then in her case, she might just be alone due to the simple fact, like the African man said, his wife could do it for a while. However, for the men, if she's been continuously saying that she has been alone and it's been a couple of years and she still doesn't want to see you, she does not want to be with you and she has no interest in you. So men, you need to protect yourselves too. She is just not interested. However, if she claims that she's healing, some women will tell you, like there's one gentleman, an ex-co-worker that wanted to be around me. I told him, I said, I'm healing. However, the attraction was there. However, I'm not going to tell him that for two to four years. At some point, I will go around that man if I'm truly interested. So... The bottom line is men are never alone, okay? For very short periods are they alone. I would say I give a man up to six months. That man has intimate partners around him. And a woman, she can do it up to maybe two years at the most, comfortably. After two years that woman is even going to be tired of it, okay? So for me, it's been a couple of years now. 
So if a man comes to me and I say, well, you know, I don't really want to date right now. That means I'm not interested because it's my time now. It's not in a man and woman's nature to stay alone forever. I mean, you even got people in nursing homes that's hooking up. Okay. You got to think about this. Even 95 year old people in nursing homes will creep in there to their neighbor's room. Okay. People ain't just, it, it, it's just not realistic. It's just not realistic y'all. So protect yourself. Ladies, it's cap when he's saying he want to be alone. It's not in a man's nature. And like the African man said, unless he's just crazy. But over time, that same man that claims he prefers to be alone, he'll be out. Um, one of your friends may see him out at the bar with a woman. People will begin over time. I don't care if he's sitting up getting a to-go order and one of your friends see him getting a to-go order. That man ain't alone. It's cap. It's a lie. It's just a lie. And men, women have a lot of different issues. I mean, some of them even be married. You know, if you're, if you're interacting with a woman over a long enough period and she's telling you that she can't be with you and she's single, like I said, she's either not interested. Some of them be married women. Be careful with those. Because my um, co-worker I used to work with, um, he swore up and down. He thought I was married. He did. I mean, because of the way I carried myself. He never seen me hanging around any men. However, when I'm in a relationship, I'm very committed to the relationship. And one of the greatest things I could have done is when I ended the last relationship, I didn't move on and get with another man. I didn't commit a sin with another man. So see, I have a, I have a free soul, like um, a clear soul. Like my soul is not, you know, these rebound relationships are so unhealthy. You know, it's, it's just not healthy. Rebound relationships do nothing but add on more soul ties. Now you, you got the soul tie from your ex. Now you got a, a new soul tie with this new person. And that's too many spirits. So prepare yourself for a healthy, committed, marital relationship where both of you are equally yoked. Okay. Um, yeah, just, just, just try to pray. And what I suggest you do, especially when people are telling you they want to be alone, keep them out of your home because you aren't dead. That's a dead energy. That's just, that's, that's a, that's an energy of death. They want to be alone. And then also that's somebody that's holding your life up. So if it's been a couple of years, you've been practicing celibacy to the best of your ability. It's now time to start dating. Valentine's Day is coming up, y'all. After two years of being celibate and by yourself, people should start asking you out. Somebody should be interested. Go out. Two years of celibacy, you should be able to bring a coworker over and hang out and play on some YouTube videos without ending up in the bed. You're praying every night. Satan ain't that powerful. He's not. We have a lot more control, but the reason we don't have the control we need to have 
is because we don't go a long enough period doing the right thing. If you go a longer period of time and do the right thing, it becomes easier to resist the sin. So at the end of the day, I'm coming on this video today to give a spirit of life, okay? Stop with the dead energy. When people telling you they want to be alone, leave them alone. Stop. Don't contact these people. Co contact them very rarely. You know, these are people that you need to be putting on the shelf. You know, hey, you know, when you're single, you can hang out. Go out to eat, go have coffee. But at the end of the day, especially women and even the men, they're getting capped. I don't know if that's the correct way to say it, but they getting lied to, okay? And so don't forget the story that I told you about the African man, because what he's saying is so true. All he's saying is the, the nature of a man is not to be alone. And the nature of a woman is not to be alone forever. Remember, he said his wife could probably do it for a very long time. However, the advice I gave him is that she wouldn't do it forever. But remember, out of the two, a woman can do it forever especially if she's been married a long time. A lot of women that have been married to the same man for a very long time and say he passes away and she's like 50 years old, a lot of them will never be with another man. Many women do that. Middle-aged and older women, that is a very normal thing, especially when they've been with one man a very long time. But a man ain't doing it. So ladies, y'all need to stop believing these men lying to you. Especially women that have a faith level. He's going to keep lying because he doesn't want to lose what's sacred. He probably feel a little guilty. You know, people, even if he's narcissistic, he's, he feels shameful. Because they know deep inside, wow, this woman ain't an alcoholic. This woman is faithful. This woman ain't hoeing around. And I'm over here with loose booty, don't want nothing out of life. And she just turned up 10 drinks in an hour. But even over time, she's going to want something and demand something. So he's just going through them. That's all he's doing is just going through them. So I also, I am promoting alone time, but not staying and being alone. Alone time's okay. You know, however, my sons, they don't be, they don't be alone. Two of my sons are at the basketball court right now with all their school buddies. I'm here alone. I am proving right now what the African gentleman told me at Starbucks over two years ago. It's been what, probably two and a half years since he said that to me. And it's so, so very true, y'all. So taking steps in the direction of life, because we only gonna be here on this earth. We only get one life. So hang out, go out. It's time if you have any attraction to a man, whether he's been a coworker or not, it's time to accept his offer. And keep in mind, all the good people a lot of times get left out, okay? While this man is telling a woman, for an example, telling a woman, okay, he's not alone. But he over there, he got company. He just laid up with a woman last night. But he texts you today saying, you know, he's sorry he had to go to sleep. Sometimes that may be true, but don't believe it's true all the time. 
because it goes against a man's nature. It's not true. It's cap. So the men that don't want to be alone, that are developing drinking problems, their, their marijuana habits are getting worse. The men that really don't want to be alone, that may want what's sacred or being driven into addictions because the sacred women won't give them a chance. Give that guy a chance that really doesn't want to be alone. That wants to see you, that wants to be around, that wants to hang out, that wants a potential marriage. Especially if the one that's saying he want to be alone has addiction issues anyway. If you're waiting around on that, you know, sometimes people can be healed and loved if they have the right people around. I was just watching a video before I got on this video, right? And um, these two ladies were together. They were really close friends and they were um, riding their bikes in the mountains. And one lady was attacked by a mountain lion. And the other lady told her, I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you here. Think about it. That friend could have got ate up by the lion too. But she didn't leave her friend. <laughs> but it was a cute story because as I'm listening I feel like the Lord saves those who want to live. So the little cute lady said all she could think of was fighting the lion back, right? <laughs> and she was so cute. She said, I punched the lion in the face. And I'm like, I wonder how that went. I, I'm curious to hear the rest of this story, right? She said, I punched the lion in the face. She said, something to the effect um he didn't budge he was unmoved <laughs> so i just laughed like okay that makes sense you know because i'm waiting to hear this story that she punched him in the face and the lion fell back like a human like ha ha she won the fight you know i was just wishing the best for the lady i was hoping that that's what happened but no that's not what happened the lion looked like i'm getting ready to really get you now and, and he just acted like he didn't feel anything. I mean, you got to do way more to a lion than just punch him in the face. Um, this ain't no dog. This ain't no cat. This is a lion. You know, I mean, the lion is in the cat family, of course. But yeah, I thought that that was cute. So um, look at your life like that lady's good friend did. You know, basically the good friend of hers was like, I'm not leaving you alone. And so you you see so many YouTube videos advertising, y'all gotta be alone, y'all gotta be alone. Look at our suicide rates though. See, we gotta think about this. I was watching a video where a 10 year old little black boy committed suicide. I mean, it was such a horrific, sad story. Um, so we got to really, um, you know, you know, just really think y'all, you know, so, um, like I said, this is, um, I'm encouraging everyone be careful with your home environment, you know, and you are meant to not be alone, whether it be you have friends and family around but open yourself up to serious companionship. And what should motivate you? If you care about a man, just say your ex, even if you are still in some level of communication, but you have decided to keep him out the home, right? Allow the fact that the ex is not alone when you're alone. And make that your motivation to consider taking some offers on, especially if you got another offer and you are attracted to the gentleman. Okay. So, and, and this could be somebody you've known a very long time that you've met genuinely because 
that man is being left alone and he needs you. You know, we got to, as sisters, and when I say sisters, I don't care what race you are. Um, you could be of color. You can be, I hate that white and black word. I use European Americans, African Americans. You could be an Asian American, whatever your race is, Native American, Samoan, whatever your race is. Um, Samoans, they keep them somebody though. They, they are really good with, um, maintaining marriages in their families. Okay. So they're not really an issue. They always, they definitely don't believe in being alone. I have not really met many single Samoan people unless they were like a teenager, you know? So, um, yeah, we just got to give ourselves a chance because God wants unity, marriages, cohabitating together and things like that. That brings unity. Okay. And over time it gets old, you know, um, and don't let nobody's depressed spirit come your way. You know, people, they have, they have their issues and, and it's a game y'all. See, okay, this man could be, say he's 68 years old, but he's an active man, right? He's 60, 68, however old he is, right? And he's telling you, well, and, and I actually have to post a video about how when these people be telling you they sleep, they not sleep. So these players, they have a story. So, okay, for the sacred woman that he never is going to fully commit to, but still wants to hang on to you, he could have had an orgy at his house last night and they all watched porn. And I mean an orgy where it was men and women and they just blew it up at his house, right? Or he could have went to somebody else's house and did that. He's going to say, well, you know, I'm an old man, I'm asleep. You know how that 60 years old is. That's what he telling you. But somebody else, he telling, oh, baby, I feel like I'm 20 years old with you tonight. So remember, they have different masks and different facades they put on for different people. So like for me, I'm not bringing men in my home and I'm being respectful about my life and doing it the right way right now. Not that I've always done it the right way. I'm not just saying I've always been innocent, but that's the stage I'm in now. I'm trying to be more conscious of the right way to do things. So these stories are not true. So you got to be careful when people are trying to throw this. And sometimes it's genuine. Sometimes maybe the man has turned 60 and he's going through a phase especially if you're a little younger, he may be going through a phase where he feels like, you know, you just go through that midlife crisis. Well, I'm tired because I'm 60. I'm tired because I'm this. But, and for anybody that's going through that, don't use your age as an excuse. Use your health as an excuse. You're tired so much because what? You're dehydrated. You're drinking too much alcohol. You're gaining too much weight. Your blood pressure is too high. Okay. Because I know some older people, they ain't tired. Okay. They're not tired. Not as tired as some of these younger people are. Okay. So you got to look at other things when you're tired, other than just your age. What are you putting in your body? Speaking of putting in your body, I got my um, latte that my son's got me. Now, this is a, a cold vanilla latte, y'all, but I'm going to take a little sip. But just really, um, really consider, just let's live in reality. Recognize truth, okay? Never believe anything too long that does not fall in line with this true nature. 
You wouldn't believe if I told you that you could bring eight lions in your house and you wouldn't be attacked. You wouldn't believe me, right? Because that's not in a lion's nature. A lion is a predator. So you would automatically know that that's not true. So you got to look at other aspects of life the same. Okay. And say they do want to be alone and it's absolutely true. And they're that mentally ill. You don't have to sacrifice your life due to somebody else's mental illness. So I am in support of, this is 2022. Valentine's Day is coming up. Hang out with some co-workers. Invite some people over. You got to get out of this. I'm never going to be around men again isolation. I'm never going to be around women again isolation. It is time to move on with life. And for the people, especially these men that are telling these women that they like to be alone and they capping to these women telling this lie, it is time to move on from the lie. Okay? So, believe wholeheartedly what that African man told me is the true nature of a man. They do not like being alone. Okay? They do not. I'm a witness to it. I got three males in my home. None of them are here right now. One loved going to work because he wants to be around a bunch of people at work. He wants to talk crap. They want to sell the sportswear. He wants to talk to customers. And two of my sons are at the basketball court. I had to start letting the lions out more. Okay? I did. However, I'm fortunate that they're... I'm not raising them. And I, I have to be careful with comparing my sons to lions because one thing my sons are not is predators. But I'm just saying as far as the how the lions like to be in the jungle. I mean that part. But my sons are, are far from predators. They're going to be males, but not predators. Because I am teaching them at an early age about narcissism, what narcissistic habits and things are, narcissistic words and statements that come out of your mouth. So they're in a state of awareness, okay? So at the end of the day, being alone is good for a certain period of time. Like, okay, this alone time was healthy for me because I got to do a real video. All my videos are real, but I'm saying a video of me being in the video, not just photos and just my voice. However, when people do audio videos, what it does, I'm going to tell you what it does. It, I am so focused and I just feel like I have more information to provide. And, and I'm not, I don't have to be on the tape. Like I'm not a narcissist where I have to be on here. Y'all, I just got to, I'm so important, y'all. Y'all just got to see me. I'm more, I want you to focus on the information. I have learned so much in the YouTube community that I don't care if I just get a few views a day or a few subscribers. I feel like that it would be wrong of me not to provide many of the experiences that I have that may help you. I mean, I listened to so many story times. I learned about narcissism. Um, I watched uh, dating advice videos from females and males. Um, R.C. Blake's. Um, 
a lot of people, I don't know, people have mixed signals about different YouTubers, but, you know, um, I've even learned a lot from Spiritual Whistleblower. You know, people, I'm going to use my own opinion. Um, I do not think Spiritual Whistleblower is a, a full-blown narcissist. I don't. I was just watching a video of her and um, another coach that kind of was having words. But I try not to get into this stuff. But R.C. Blakes, Dr. R R Romani, um, Association Direct. I was just watching Dr. Carmen Bryant today. Um, Quinn Holiday is the African-American man that's on Associated Direct. Um, Narc Survivor. Um, Dave with Narcology. Um, I'm subscribed to like TD Jakes. I mean, I, I just have watched so many um, North of the Fray. Just so many really positive YouTubers that I really learned so much from. And for me, whoever want to be alone, that's their business. However, people, they lie so much, y'all. I mean, we, we live in a world where people, they don't have no remorse, y'all, no more. People will not just lie to you. We got people murdering other people. People are... Um,